Hello to all my fellow travelers, curious minds, and all around magical people. Welcome. Welcome back to this channel. I'm Akila. This past week, I was in New York. I was there for a role that I was asked to come up for. And although I was only needed for a day, I decided to stay for the week. I have a friend named Mac, who I met at an acting intensive here in Atlanta, who has been living up there for a while now. So I just hung out with her for most of the time. And she showed me New York in a way I had never seen it before. I've been to New York before, a few times, but I've never learned how to take the subway by myself and I can do that now. <laughs> she brought me into her circle of artist friends that she's made in New York and I really had a great time with them. New York City is so alive. It is so full of energy and is this beautiful chaos that is intricately intertwined and has the possibility to be pure magic. It's not very easy to explain. You just have to go and put yourself in the middle of it to really understand. And it can be very overwhelming, especially if you are like me and you are highly sensitive to energy. In a place like New York City, we need to find moments where we can ground ourselves and take ourselves outside of the chaos and really have our own backs because this is a place that will be very draining if you allow it to be. This is a place that has the potential to take and take and take and suck you dry if you do not give and give and give to yourself and pour your own water and take yourself outside of the crowd, outside of the noise. That's the only way or else you'll be whatever the world tells you to be. You'll be whatever the city tells you to be, and you'll be swept away and eaten alive. <laughs> so to really enjoy a place like New York City, I encourage you to find balance because I'm a firm believer of playing really hard and also resting really hard. <laughs> you know, I was really sore after the first few days of walking because I don't normally walk that much in Atlanta. I drive pretty much everywhere. But after that, I got my New York legs and I was taking trains everywhere. I have explored so much of the city that I've never seen before. Of course, having done more of the touristy things during my first few times in New York. But this time I stayed in Brooklyn and I bounced around some of the smaller pockets of town outside of Manhattan, and it was really, really cool. One day I spent just wandering around town. I found a local spot to get a fresh New York bagel. Most of the nights were spent with my new artist friends going to jazz bars and speakeasies and rooftops. And they say New York during Christmas time is very beautiful but I was not able to fully understand that until I was there. Everything is laced with fairy lights and it looked like the dreamiest dream. Being in New York City was ultimately a shock for me because I'm not used to that kind of pace. Everything moves very fast, which also means that there are more opportunities to get things done. There's always something to do people to see, places to go, something to experience. It's really a city that never sleeps. And so there's always a way to achieve whatever you want. And I don't think there are many cities that can offer that promise. A treasure pot, a gold mine, which is why so many people come from all over the world to this one place to make their dreams become reality. Now, I was only visiting, so I was able to relax in the fact that I was going home, that I have a home to go back to, and therefore I was not as anxious as I probably would be if I were really living in New York 
hustling. And I imagine that when I spend more time out there, which I definitely want to now, now that I am more familiar with the city and have found new things to love and new ways to move around, I imagine that I'll have new stories and new challenges. But as for now, I was able to really appreciate everything and look up and really marvel at the skyline and enjoy every moment as it was coming along. And perhaps I'll find ways to maintain that attitude, to maintain my ability to stay present and to find ways to stay grounded in a city like New York because there is so much beauty. That city is pulsing with creation. This is a city that is supercharged with energy. And they say when you raise your energy, you raise your consciousness. And I truly felt that I was receiving lots of downloads and having lots of revelations and experiencing things in a way that was changing me, even though I was only there for a week. In a place that is filled with options, I was starting to realize how limited my thinking was, even though I might think that I have an expanded form of consciousness, there were still things that I had not even thought of because I have my view in my own world. But once you step outside of your world, you can see things with new eyes and have new ideas and imagine how life can unfold in a way that you may never have considered before. This is what happens when you travel. This is what happens when you sail over the horizon that you see every day and expand your worldview and meet new people and have new conversations and go to new places and doing things that are a little uncomfortable because that is how we grow. It was pretty scary to throw myself in the middle of a city like New York, but I think it responded to me really well and I'm excited to go back soon. New York has a little piece of my heart now and as a romantic, I'm hoping for the best. I hope to love it more and more.